You're seeing this, right? It's a creme brulee pizza. Okay, I need a couple foodies to come volunteer to try this because if you guys like it, we're gonna add this to the menu. It is too good. I got it. Let's try it and rate it one through 10. It's cold, it's raining, it's loud in my background. I'm in Vegas. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I ain't even gonna talk much. Let's get straight to it. Let's try this food. Alex is the personal friend of mine and the owner of St. Honoree's, so she gave me this. Thank you, Alex. This look crazy. It's like a vanilla custard with a creme brulee topping, a little raspberry, gold dust. For sure, you're right on. Mm -hmm. It's a pizza, but that's a dessert pizza. For sure dessert. That with like some coffee or something like bitter like that, like a coffee or a green tea fire <laughs> i was trying to think of like more descriptive words i like that for real 9.2 out of 10 alex was talking about bringing that on the menu but she wasn't sure if she should in my opinion yes god bless you guys y'all have an amazing day y'all be safe i spent 127 dollars and 88 cents on pizza and popeyes let's try it and rate it one through ten this place is called crust and rule and it's in town square in las vegas i literally was driving by and i was like i'm hungry i want something to eat they said they got gourmet pot pies and gourmet pizzas. I don't know what a gourmet pot pie is, but we about to try it. The customer service, delightful. I love trying new places, so let's try this food. I ordered online and I did not know I got these sizes, so I was wondering why my total was that much, but this is why. A nacho pizza, so instead of a tomato sauce, it's a chili bean sauce that they use. Sour cream, cheese, carne asada, olives, jalapenos, very different than your average pizza. To say that's the most interesting piece I've ever had is an understatement. I don't get nacho though. If you just gave me that, I would have thought it was like a steak and cheese pizza. It's delicious. 8.8 .8 out of 10. I was not expecting this to be this big. It's only me and my wife in this house. Sunny side up pizza. This thing got olive oil, eggs, halloumi cheese, mozzarella cheese. Oh, sunny side up eggs. Oh, did it pop? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I love a sunny side up egg, but for some reason that texture does not work for me at all. It's like gummy. It's like gummy. The bread is crispy. Mm -mm. That is not for me. It does have a decent flavor, so I'm gonna give it a half a point. 0.5 out of 10. That one going back. It's $38. I need that. Every bit of it. A chicken pot pie. I love that crust. That's cool right there. Mm -hmm. That's just a well-seasoned chicken soup inside of a bread bowl with some carrots and peas. I like that. 8.5 out of 10. A filet mignon sandwich. It got steak, mushrooms, onions, mayo, pepper jack cheese, mustard. Mm. It's all right. It kind of feel like they relying on it being a steak sandwich too much because a steak sandwich is going to be good, right? But the steak is kind of overcooked. It's not really seasoned well. The mushrooms don't have no flavor, but salt. The bread is, eh, it got good flavor to it, but five out of 10. A good old slice of strawberry pie. I warmed it up in a microwave for like 20 seconds. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that crust to break away like that. It broke away in pieces. That's a great crust. I'm going back. I'm turning in that sunny side up pizza. I'm getting a whole pie. This pie is amazing. This is what I imagine home cooking down south touch the soul pie tastes like. I say my imagination because I'm not from the down south. I'm from Michigan. And I don't want none of y'all from the down south go and try this and be like, that ain't nothing like mama pie. Just what I imagine mama pie tasting like. That. 9.7 out of 10. And with that being said, I would gladly take this. Bid you adieu. God bless you guys. Y'all be safe. In my opinion, I can see why they don't have that much business. Because they definitely need an updated Yelp, an updated phone number, and an updated address. Because I don't want to have to call your mama's personal cell phone on her way to church so she can tell me how to get there to the restaurant. As soon as those things are fixed, I'll be back. I went back and I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 to 10. 
Customer service will not be a main focal point of this review, seeing as this is my second time going there, so they know exactly who I was. After my first visit, I personally suggested that they fix the hours, the number, and the location on Yelp, and I truly appreciate the fact that they did that. That's dope. So there's a possibility it could be biased because they see how many followers I have, but genuinely, I think they have really good customer service. And again, it's biased, but that's just me talking as a person. I feel like she really liked that. You can't really fake being a genuine person. And the mom who worked there, she seemed like a really genuine person. To me. To me. I walked in to pick up my order, and just like the original video that the daughter posted, it was completely empty. Now we finally get the answer. Is it the food? Is it the service? Is it just because nobody knows about it? Let's try this food. I spent $56.04. This food took about 20 minutes to make. A pastrami sandwich with everything on it. When I say everything, it looked like mustard, onions, pastrami. Damn. For the show you're right on. In my opinion, it's really hard to mess up a pastrami sandwich because pastrami is such a good meat by itself. With that being said, that's delicious. Nine out of 10. Lemon pepper parmesan wings and sweet heat wings. Now I got everything a la carte, which means just the entree by itself with no sides. I've been getting a bunch of fries lately and I ain't been liking them. So I was like, let me save myself some time. This is sweet heat wing. Mmm. Mmm. That sauce good. Real good. It needs a moto. But she was nice enough to pack me some in here, some sweet heat sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mmm. That gave me like sweet and sour vibes and I'm loving it. 9.2 out of 10. These some little ass wings. That's my finger for size. But then again, it's a lot of wings with hormones on it nowadays. That's probably just a non-hormonal wing. I can appreciate that. Lemon pepper parmesan. Now she told me I can do this and I was like, what? She was like, you can customize it however you want. Whatever sauces you want on top of each other. And I said, lemon pepper parmesan, please. Oddly enough, I literally just tried a hack on here that was lemon pepper parmesan. I mean, I never heard about it before then. Some ranch. That parmesan and the lemon pepper, 9.6 out of 10. Fish, po' boy. And I told her I'm allergic to shellfish. She said, no problem. We don't cook our shrimp and our fish in the same oil. That's what I'm talking about when I say good service. It's deeper than just being a nice cashier. That's taking care of your customers. Hmm. The fish is very light and flaky and it was cooked well, but it don't taste like nothing. Like it needs some more seasons. Even that sauce don't really taste like nothing. Five and a half out of 10. Wow, this is a bugger. It's not even a burger, this is a bugger. Whoa. It's dripping. One more. For that burger to be like $10, that is crazy. I haven't had burgers that good at like $30 burger places, $40 burger places. That burger can easily be like $25 by itself. 9.8 out of 10. That is amazing. That's one of the best burgers I've had in a long time. I don't know what kind of cheese she used. That's like the extra, extra, extra sharp cheddar and I love it. So to answer the question, do I think the reason they're not getting much business is because the service, the food, or the marketing? I personally think it's the marketing. For me personally, it's only one decorum that I still have with the marketing. They close at five o'clock on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I don't know if this is everybody, but me personally, I like to eat late. This is my suggestion. With food that good and service that good, y'all should be staying open late. But at the same time, I get it. If it's not much business, you can't afford to stay open that late. I pray that changes. God willingly, if it does change and you go to try it, please be aware this is a brand new business getting a surge of customers they did not expect. So please be patient and be aware of that. I appreciate y'all. God bless you. Y'all be safe. Y'all have an amazing night. That food was delicious. I might tell you a joke, but I'll never tell you a lot. Lemon pepper sauce wings. That thing packed with flavor. I ain't gonna try the ranch again because again, I'm not a huge fan. This is one of the best wings I've ever had. This is a 10. A quick 24 hour update slash story time about frankincense. Let's talk about it. I got an email from an employee about a struggling restaurant in Vegas two days ago. Yesterday, I did a review. Today, chaos. For starters, when I discovered their TikTok, they was at 2,000 followers. Now, 70,000 in less than 24 hours. I took a video yesterday before I left of Frank, the owner, sitting with the employee who emailed me, and he was shocked when I left. So I'm assuming she was showing him my TikTok so he know who I am. The stark contrast of him sitting in that empty room with that one employee 
to today. Been here before? No. What brought you here? She did. She did. What brought you here today? Um, I just saw the video from Keith. I don't know. My friends sent me this guy's video. <laughs> 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Lying out the door. Obviously, I knew he was going to have some business, but I never thought it was going to be to that magnitude. I showed up. I wanted to try to shake that he posted on TikTok and then some more wings. I show up and it's a crowd of people. People walking up to my car. They recognize me before I even roll my window down. I... <laughs> I was speechless. I got social anxiety. I was standing there with this awkward smile, taking pictures with everybody. I was having the time of my life, but it was so shell shocking to me because I was like, I just want to shake. <laughs> Frank saw the commotion and he came outside. And the first thing he said when he looked me in my eyes, I want to kick your ass. I know some people don't have sense of humor, but right after he said it, he thanked me like a hundred times nonstop, gave me the biggest hug and shook my hand like a thousand times. I ain't mad at that because they got slammed. To the point where they had to close down for the day early. They usually close at 10. They had to stop taking orders around 3 o'clock today. Solely due to the fact that it's a family-owned business and it's small. And the only people working there is him and his family. I left at like 5 p.m. They was cooking from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. No lunch breaks. No breaks at all. No stopping. Frank was like, I got to shut down for a second. We need to breathe and eat. What did you do? I told him straight up. It wasn't me. It was the amazing food that you served. And you being genuinely nice to people. Because if the food was bad... Wasn't nobody going to be there. So it wasn't me. It was the food and it was God using me as a vessel. I'm forever appreciative. I'm forever grateful. We sat and had like a 20 minute conversation. I took a bunch of pictures. I told him I'm coming back. I want to try them shakes and I want to try some of my wings. He tried to give it to me today. I said, no, ain't no way. It's people waiting here for two or three hours. And he was like, yeah, you're right. You're right. I told him I don't want no special treatment. I'm going to come back a different day. Try to shake. Pay for my food. Make another video. God bless you. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. God is really amazing. I appreciate being a vessel. Like, it's really dope. Yesterday afternoon, I got an email from an employee of a family-owned restaurant here in Vegas. I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. I spent $86.73. The email read, I'm an employee at Frankincense Pizzeria. It's really slow. We really can't afford rent. And we would love for you to come and try the food. The owner don't know you coming. It's a family-owned business and the food is delicious, but we don't have a marketer behind us. That's the only reason why we don't really get that much business. The owner reached out to another food creator and they tried to charge us $2,600 to do a food review. How much do you charge? Please let me know. Thank you. I didn't charge absolutely anything and I bought my own food. This taste test is to really see, is it only because of the marketing or is the food bad or is the service bad? I can tell you right now, the service is not bad at all. And let me tell you why. I called my order in and the person who took it was Frank who happens to be the owner of the restaurant. Frank was so dope. He literally took his time. He was patient. I was literally looking at the menu while I was ordering it. So I was like, please be patient with me. He was like, bro, take your time. <laughs> I went in, I paid for my order with the cashier. He came from around the corner. He like 6'3", real tall dude. Came around the corner and was like, grab you a pop out of there. I was like, I don't drink pop. He was like, what about a Gatorade? Grab it. He had no idea who I was. He walked up to me. He was staring directly in my eyes. And he was like, what do you do? At first I was like, what? He was like, what do you do? I got social anxiety, so I give in pretty easy in person. So I was like, I'm a food reviewer. I kind of whispered it. And he was like, what? I was like, I'm a food reviewer. He was like, oh, we got to talk. We had like a 10-minute conversation, and I basically told him I'm going to be completely honest. I'm going to be 100% real. If I don't like the food, I got to tell you. I'm not trying to be malicious. And he was like, I'm going to be real with you too. I need help. Yeah, 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 that hit me here. He said the food is delicious. He has great reviews on Yelp. The only bad reviews is that he don't close the time it says that he closed on Google. The time it says he closed on Google is 1 a.m. He was like, I literally can't afford to open that late because we don't get that much business. Frank, if you're watching this, I'm going to be completely honest. You are an amazing man from what I saw. I appreciated your time and I appreciated your conversation. Let's try this food. Garlic knots, off rip. These look amazing. Boy. Mm -hmm. It's some red chili flakes on there that makes it spicy. I was not expecting that to be spicy. That is delicious. 9.2 out of 10. We starting high. Peach chutney wings. I ain't never had a peach flavored wing before. That's a delicious wing. It's sweet. It's salty. That's a 9 out of 10. One half of the classic Italian setup. This thing is huge. Frank. This is delicious. All this food is so balanced so far. It's spicy. It's salty. 9.6 out of 10. I thought this was more food. He gave me a whole bag of ranch. I didn't even ask for that. That's good service. That just took me over the top. Mild wings. It look like homemade ranch too. I'm not a huge fan of the ranch. It's kind of bitter to me, but that wing, 
that wing is fire. I wish it was a little more spicy. For a mild, it has no spice at all. So for the wing, it gets an eight out of 10. The ranch gets like a six and a half out of 10. Lemon pepper sauce wings, that thing packed with flavor. I ain't gonna try the ranch again, because again, I'm not a huge fan. This is one of the best wings I've ever had. This is a 10. All American burger, I haven't even tried the fries yet. They all come with fries. The fries are like a two. I'm not a fan. It don't really taste like nothing. It looked like a good burger. It is a good burger. That's just a good, classic, high quality burger. 9.2 out of 10. Small, classic white pizza. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. It's really good. 8.9 out of 10. That is classic, delicious, thin crust pizza. Really garlicky, like super garlicky. Last but not least, a small, classic pepperoni pizza. Them some huge pepperonis. Boy, I swear, this is why I started making videos like this. Cause places like this that don't nobody know of, this is a 9.8 out of 10. I'ma wholeheartedly agree with the employee here. Frank, from me to you, this is my opinion. There is no way you should be behind on rent or struggling to pay rent. It is marketing. That's 100% what I feel like. That food is delicious. The service is amazing. God is amazing. I'm always appreciative to be a vessel. I love trying places like this. This one of them ones. <laughs> yeah, Frank. Yeah, Frank. I'm coming back and I'm shaking your hand. I don't even want nothing else. I just want a handshake. God bless you. Y'all be safe. Y'all have an amazing day. Look at this. The garlic butter sauce. That's all the garlic butter sauce on top of this bacon, cheese, onion tanglers, and now garlic sauce, baked potato. My mouth, my mouth is watering. I got it. Let's try it and rate it one to ten. Wendy's service at the South Premium Outlets in Las Vegas, like the one that's right by the South Premium Outlets, terrible. I almost drove off. I literally was sitting by the intercom, whatever you call it, like the speaker, for like 10 minutes. No exaggeration. And she finally got on the intercom, the lady with the headset, finally got on the intercom and was like, give me a second. I was like, all right, cool, I understand. She get back on the intercom 10 minutes later and she having a full conversation with her background. What are we doing, Wendy's? But that didn't deter me. I got the baked potato with the garlic butter, onion tanglers, bacon, cheese, and I added sour cream. The only thing that made me hesitate on trying this is that I don't really like fast food that much, like Wendy's, McDonald's, stuff like that. Uh, they didn't give me no garlic butter. See, this is why I don't eat at places like this a lot. I gotta go back around. Good thing I parked in a Wendy's parking lot. So I just went back in, she made me open it, and she looked at it and was like, it's already garlic butter on there. Y'all see what garlic butter she talking about? You see that? Go back to the original video. Hers was flooded. Look at that. It looks like a blooming onion baked potato. They gave me a side of it, but I had to talk to two different people to get it. And they was like reluctant. They was like, we don't have no garlic sauce. What you talking about? And I was like, the garlic butter that go on the fries? And they was like, you want butter? Yes, give it to me. Just give me the butter. This cold. This is cold butter. All together, this is 481. I didn't get any sour cream either, and I asked for sour cream. I'm gonna do one more. Hold on. It's the potato? Something about that potato is off putting to me. I don't know what it is. The sauce is really good. It's really garlicky, and it is strong, but it's good. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you the sauce is the only thing saving it because some onion tanglers just taste like grease to me. To me. But again, this is all just my personal preference because I'm not really a fast food person. But if you really like fast food or you really like Wendy's in particular, I can see you liking this. Just for me, personally, I give it a 2.5 out of 10. I'm not the target audience for this. And I knew that. That's why it took me so long to go try it. But the curiosity killed me. And this almost killed me again. God bless you. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. This Las Vegas ice cream has the highest amount of butter fat ice cream can legally have. There is nothing low calorie, diet, or healthy about it. I got it. I got 10 flavors. Let's try all of them and rank them one to 10. I called beforehand and told them I was coming to get a big order. And I asked if they had any like precautions for like a big to go order. They said no, like no containers, no nothing. I said, okay, cool. I went to Target. I got a big container and I got some ice. The guy who packed my order was really nice. He gave me a Sharpie so I can write which flavor was which on the ice creams I got. It was a guy there who seemed like he might've been a manager. I'm just speculating. He walked over and was like, wow, all of these for you? I said, yes. And I'm gonna try every last one of them. So let's do that. Cookie butter swirl. Oh my God. 
Okay, this is going to be really hard. This is already in top three. Three. This video can be really long. If everything is that good, I'm going to want everything to be top five. I already know myself. So instead of doing like all of the switching and changing, wherever I put it is where I put it. OG butter cake. That way I got to go off my first instinct. Just my gut feeling. It's so creamy, bro. This is some really good ice cream, Mike. I don't even show about the flavors. This is like some high quality ice cream. That has like a sour tangy element to it that I'm really not a fan of. It's kind of off-putting. Nine. Honey lavender. This is the most aesthetically pleasing so far. It's so simple. The lavender flavor is too subtle to make it top three, but it is top five. Five. This is one of their holiday flavors. White chocolate peppermint. I'm not a huge fan of peppermint flavored things. The other ones haven't been overly sweet, but that one was. It was overly sweet. It was super minty. I don't really like mint flavored things, so... That goes to 10. Bumbleberry Cheesecake Crumble. According to their website, Bumbleberry is a mix of blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. This is incredible. Do I think this is going to be the best one? Maybe. It's a 95% chance. I don't think something on top of this. But just to be safe, 2. Coffee and Donuts 2.0. Mm -mm. That's way too much coffee. I'm not a coffee lover. If you're a coffee lover, I could see this being like top three. But for me, seven. Brown butter brownie. Whatever nest they use in that, I don't know if it's like pecan or walnut, but it's real overpowering. That's all I taste. It is creamy. It's the creamiest one. So that is like redeeming. But eight. Milk tea with boba balls. It really got whole boba pearls in here. I don't like this texture though. The flavor of the ice cream is really good. I thought the boba was going to throw me off because I'm a texture person, but it being frozen really helps. Four, ube honeycomb. It's ube ice cream with whole pieces of honeycomb in it. It's delicious, but it's way too sweet for me. I don't know what I expected from honeycomb ice cream. Duh, it's going to be sweet. It's just too sweet for me. Six, last but not least, strawberry shortcake. It's good. Is it number one? No, but it is good. I know what I said, but I wouldn't be able to sleep tonight if I didn't fix at least the top three. To be honest with you, the rest of my list is pretty accurate, but the top three definitely needs help. So for me, strawberry shortcake goes to four, boba goes to three, cookie butter goes to two, and my favorite ice cream, which I should have put at first in the first place. Where's she at? Where's she at? Here we go. Bumbleberry cheesecake. It's kind of melted out, but this is the best thing they got there. And I ain't even tried everything, but I'm confident saying it's hard to top this. This was delicious. God bless you. Y'all be safe. Nine and a half out of ten. Especially with some bacon. Because you can add whatever you want to it. Bacon, jalapenos, some tomatoes, extra mayo. I can see this being a ten. I got it. Again. But this time, I added a patty to a hot dog. Let's try it and rate it one to ten. I really did. I don't know what that means. We about to find out in a second together. Because I haven't seen it yet. I went back on the app and I got a grilled cheeseburger again. But this time, I customized it to my liking. So this is how I ordered it. Grilled cheese, extra patty, mayo, grilled onions, jalapenos, and bacon. And I was perusing around the app, and I saw that they had hot dogs. And for some reason, it lets you add a patty to the hot dog. I don't know what that means. My receipt don't have the prices on it. But the grilled cheeseburger was like $13, and the hot dog with the patty was like $12, if I'm not mistaken. I might be completely wrong, but it was somewhere around there. Dying to know. How did they possibly put a patty on here? Are you serious? Bro, they, they wildin'. They wildin'. They wildin'. That's the funniest shit I didn't see. Bro, they cut a hamburger patty in half with a hot dog cut in half on a bun that's cut in half. They should have cut this price in half since we cut shit in half. This shit is stupid. <laughs> oh, no, I gotta get to you. I gotta get to you. <clears throat> Five minutes later. I'm gonna go back and get it for real, like with some sauce or some toppings, because that got the audacity to be good, like for real. It's dry because the patty. But with like some sauce or something, that could be like a nine and a half. That's blasphemous, but that could be like a nine and a half. Right now, it's like an 8.6, 8.5, somewhere around there. Here's the star of the show. Like I said, jalapenos, grilled onions, bacon, grilled cheeseburger.
God damn. This is the best thing that Five Guys is like. It's even better with the toppings. That hot dog hamburger thing completely threw me off. I forgot to rate it. The first one got a 9.5. This one's better. 9.7 out of 10. <laughs> this is delicious. God bless you. Y'all be safe. Y'all have an amazing night. I really want to go back and get that burger again. Or that hot dog burger. I don't even know what to call it. It's New Year's Eve, so I made collard greens and black eyed peas. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. Oh, alright. I'm the fork. Turkey neck. Some seasonings. Some bacon. My first time making black eyed peas. Can I try? Can I try? No. I can try? Yeah. So I'm going to do the black eyed peas by itself first. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's seasoned well. You got the gristle? Yeah. I don't like peas at all because of the texture, but the rice and meat really help it. This gets like a 7. Wow. Point. This gets like a 7.9 out of 10 for me. What you rate it? Yeah. She rated a, yeah. It's good? Yeah. The greens? Yeah. These greens get a 9.2 out of 10. The greens and meat first. That's a 9 out of 10. Hands down. Let's see what you're putting out. Oh my God. Here's the black eyed peas. That's 7 out of 10. That's not, it might go 8. I think the, I, I the think you thing. did really good for your. I'm gonna go eight. It's not terrible. It's I thought not. I was gonna hate it. No, I think I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Oh, I thought I was gonna hate it. I thought I was gonna be like a two. Yeah, and I don't like peas. Me. Either. We're just gonna take this time out to say it was an amazing year, and we appreciate everybody that's been on this journey with us. God bless you. Happy New Year's. Y'all have an amazing day. Happy New Year's. Ma. Say bye. Bye.